Hi guys. I wanted to update you on using the soap nut liquid as a shampoo. Now remember I put uh, essential oils into the liquid and I whipped it with my hand mixer to just uh, incorporate that really well. It still was very watery and um, but it smelled nice and es uh, essential oils are good for your hair and give a sort of softness to the mixture. And I wanted to show you today what it looks like. I did not fix my hair today. So there's no product in my hair. There's no conditioner, no nothing. This is what my hair looked like from using this as a shampoo. Now, if you have longer hair, you're probably going to want to use a conditioner if you normally use a conditioner. Um, ends can get very dry, of course. Um, my hair doesn't do that. I don't have to use a conditioner because my hair is cut off before any ends get dry. So what I will normally do is um, use a styling product to of course make my hair stick up. That's how I like to fix my hair. But I didn't want to do that before I showed you what it looked like because a lot of you were curious. Now if you are on a no poo journey or have used no poo products in the past, then you're probably gonna like this. And I say that as a disclaimer because no poo and natural products are very different than commercial products. There's a different feeling to your hair, almost like a slight, slight waxy feeling, which I don't mind because let's face it, I put a styling wax in my hair to make it stick up and do what I want to do. So I'm going to add that feeling to that my hair anyway. So if you have curly hair or coarse hair, this will probably help you get a little more definition in your curls. And when I first started No Poo, I had long permed curly hair. I'll insert a picture at the end if you're curious as to what that looked like. Um, so it helps define the curls and get you have less frizz basically when you're no poo and you have curly hair. If you have long straight hair, this may not be the product for you because it may weigh your hair down a little more than what what you want it to. But having said that, I did put a lot of essential oils. So it may be the essential oils. Um, as you can see, my hair isn't weighted down. It's very full of life. Um, just you know, telling you what I experienced in the past when I had long straight hair. Um, if you have short sassy hair like me, you'll probably love it. So just a little disclaimer. Now it is very watery, very liquid. So of course I used a bottle with a little spout so that I could just pour on my head. Now I did this in the tub because I have a jacuzzi tub with a sprayer and um, it did not suds up in my hair. So it was like um, any other no poo, um, kind of like a, uh, if you wash your hair with green tea or apple cider vinegar, it's kind of like that. It's just very thin, it doesn't suds up, you just you know do it around and rinse it out. And it felt really, really soft when I rinsed it out. Um, then when later after I'd finished my bath and I turned on my jacuzzi jets, then it suds up and I had a tub full of bubbles. So if you use this product in your washing machine as laundry detergent, that's why I said only use about a tablespoon because it is going to suds up and you certainly don't want to overflow your washer. Um, still really liking it as a dishwashing liquid. Um, it, it did very well for that and my hands were very soft afterwards. Now, um, someone had mentioned that it could be very drying to the skin, but again, I put essential oils in it. And so that's probably going to negate anything for, it's going to be different from someone who just used it straight. So for me with the essential oils, it did not irritate my skin. It did not make my skin dry. My, my skin felt fine without putting any lotion on after my bath. So just wanted to update you for those who are curious or wanted to see what my experience was. That was my experience. So now I'm going to fix my hair and go shopping. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.